What's up, guys? I'm Reckless, and welcome to Break the Fourth Wall. So, how do you feel when you hear the word Mida? It actually puts some guardians on edge. Others welcome the challenge going up against it. And as for me, well, I loved it since day one, Destiny 1. However, today we are going to look at that legend in the makings, little baby brother, the Mida Mini Tool. This little speed racer is an energy submachine gun with an RPM of 900. Jesus. An impact of 15, range of 37, and a pretty good stability of 54, a reload speed of 38, and handling of 68. Hidden stats on this weapon are a zoom of 15, an inventory size of 70, an aim assist of 49, and a high recoil direction of 80. God, that just sounds terrible. Yesterday, I gave this submachine gun a chance for a while just to see if I liked it. And pretty much like all submachine guns, you really need to be close or else all of your rounds will be going everywhere except your target. It does pretty decently in PvE and I would say the same for PvP. Let's actually get into the perks though. And there's only four. The main perk and the intrinsic perk is lightweight frame which gives you superb handling and you move faster with this weapon equipped. As for the barrel, we have fluted barrel, magazine, we have alloy magazine, and then for the trait we have miter synergy which this weapon grants speed benefits when a Mita multi-tool is equipped. And that's pretty much this guy right here. Now, my Mita mini tool actually has the uh, arc damage mod on it, as well as the gift of the nine shader. I don't know. It looks pretty cool to me. So this gun has pretty much decent perks, nothing too groundbreaking. But this thing shines most when the Mita Synergy is active. But personally, I think that it's a good submachine gun even without Mita Multi-Tool. And I think that when Mita Synergy is active, it makes you a little too fast. Especially when you're a hunter, which is already naturally fast. And also while strafing, uh, while you're trying to ADS. Now, I am currently on my Warlock. And I still kind of have the same issues a little bit when it comes to strafing too fast. Some people out there are way more skilled than I am, and they can control it a lot better than I can, but to each his own. As for PvE, there really isn't much for me to say about this gun, and that is due to the fact that I don't really use submachine guns in PvE, but for this video, I wanted to try it out. So far, it's not a bad choice, because it does melt enemies, and it melts very fast, especially on enemy shields, but... I would still prefer an auto rifle over a submachine gun in PvE any day. I would use the Mita Mini Tool in Crucible or Crucible, but then again, I think that is where we usually see most of the submachine guns anyways. If you guys end up doing the Mita Multi Tool quest, then you will get this gun and keep it because we never know when the meta will change and certain guns become more powerful. On other news, Destiny Item Manager or DIM as some people know it, puts the Mita Mini Tool at a 3.9 on their rating scale. So it's not that bad of a rating, given that it's a little more than half. I'm assuming that the scale goes from a 1.0, which is like terrible, to a 5.0, which would be top tier. If you guys would like to check out all of the other weapons that you own and see what their rating are is on DIM, then you can go to destinyitemmanager.com or download and click the Chrome extension. Now. This is probably my number two favorite submachine gun for PvP. My number one favorite submachine gun is the same as most Guardians, which is the Antiope D. But a review on that submachine gun will be coming later on. So, what do you guys think about the famous Midas baby brother, the Mita Mini Tool? Do you guys use it in PvE? PvP? Is it in a nice, secure, hidden spot in the vault? Or did you just dismantle it as soon as you got it? Let me know in the comments below. And that fellow guardians brings us to the end of the video. Like and share it if you felt it was helpful. Subscribe and turn on notifications for more Destiny content. Feedback really helps me out. Thank you guys for all of your support. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.